What you guys got another video here for you on how to change the Windows 11 start menu. So if you don't like the Windows 11 start menu and you wish to change it up, then this video is for you. Now, whether you love or hate the Windows 11 start menu, there is a way of changing it. And I'll show you how to do it in this video. You can customize the start menu a little bit more than what you see here. But if you do want to change it up, this is how you can go about doing it. Now, I'm not a fan of this bottom area here. Uh, I do like the search box bit at the top, but I'm not a big fan of the actual look of it. It looks a bit plain, but if you want to change it up, you can use Stardock's Start 11. It's in beta, and uh, it's not free, but you can download and give it a trial to see whether you like it or not. There's plenty of good features on Start 11 to customize it to your own liking, um, but it's not super expensive. It's only about $4.99, I think, to purchase the actual application but i'll show you that a little bit later on in the video so let's get this installed on the system where we can take a look at what it actually looks like so i'm just going to close off the web page here and uh, we can now open up the actual application it should be installed in here once it's done it'll give us some uh, areas where we can customize so let's go through here and quickly get this installed i'm going to just install this in the c directory here that'll be fine now, once we get this installed, it will offer us a 30 day trial. So you can try it out first to see whether you like it or not. But this is the actual start menu here. It will open up and then it will nag us for either entering our product key or purchase product key or start a trial. So let me just quickly click on purchase product key so you can see how much it costs uh, with your own eyes here. So let's click on this bit here. And as you can see, when we open this up, start 11 costs £4.99. Not sure what that is in dollars, probably about six dollars or something like that. But once you've got that done, you you would obviously uh, purchase it. But I'm just going to put my trial version in here by putting in my email, and then click finish, and there we go. So it's going to say, do you want to start with your uh, taskbar on the left or on the middle? So I'm going to go on the left here. And there's only two options here at the moment. They might add more, I don't know, but they've got Windows 7 style or you've got the modern style. So you can choose which one you want to go with and then you can customize it to your own liking. So let's just try the modern style first. And down on the start menu theme, you've got the modern theme uh, down there as well. As you can see here, you can drop this down and you can change uh, to whatever you like. And then you've got your visual styles. So you can click on here and change some visual styling for your menu uh, to whatever you want to do here. You've got some settings inside here to adjust the menu transparency and a bunch of other bits and pieces in here. You've also got your taskbar where you can uh, blur it out or change the color or change the transparency here. And you've got some other areas down here like search, which you can mess around with as well and control. So you can change all this up to how you like it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. I'm just going to keep it pretty much default in modern style here and there is the modern style as you can see here pretty a nice looking little menu system where you'll be able to customize this and make it more transparent if you want to you've got your search down here you've got your programs when you click on all programs it's listed all here and of course you've got your other areas on the side here where you've got your device and printers settings control panel this pc which is very useful. I do like this layout, which helps you get to certain locations a lot quicker. So I do like that layout and I've always liked it. So it's a really good layout if you like the modern styling here. And again, you've got some uh, other areas where you can click on, say, documents and other things like that. So if you want to go back into the normal menu, you can click here. And if you don't like it, you can always uninstall it and go back to the standard uh, Windows 11 menu if that's what you want to do. So let's open up the application once more and I'll just show you a couple of extra little things inside here so you can see you've got the Windows 7 style here and you can also change some areas here like rounded edges and things like that as well. So let's quickly check that one out. There you go. There's the Windows 7 look to uh, Windows 11 and you can customize it to your needs as well inside here. Let's go back in there one more time here and I'll just quickly show you uh, the transparency here and stuff like that so let me go in here and change you can see here show icons uh, tile split into columns you can uh, decide how far you want to split those into columns and you've got some little rocker buttons here which you can play around with like paint solid color in the background behind the icons and some other bits in there as well 
You can make the menu font bigger or smaller, depending on how you want the size of your font. And you can also adjust the um, menu transparency there as well. So if you like it sort of translucent a little bit, you can sort of add a bit more on there. Also, the transparency for the menu as well. I'll just bump this up a little bit so you can see how good this is. So solid color, or you can go full transparency mode if you wanted to. So if I look, if you look here, you can see the background coming through here. And it only lets you go down to a certain point before um, it stops you from going any lower. So 62% is the lowest, which I think looks quite nice. So 62% is pretty nice uh, for transparency there. You can reset it by just clicking on the reset. So if you're not a big fan of the Windows 11 start menu or you just hate it and you want to change it, that's basically how you can change it. Yes, it's going to cost you $4.99, which is around about six bucks, I think, something like that, uh, which isn't a big deal. And you can uh, use it to change the menu to your liking and set up your menu how you like it. And it should look pretty nice. You can see here we've got some drop downs here for Windows menu and switch back to desktop and so on. You can change it up to how you like your settings done. Anyway, that is the Start 11 uh, menu for Windows 11. Pretty cool little program. I'll leave the link in the video description for you to check it out if you want to check it out. It's only a 30 day trial. Now, also, we've done some changes on our Discord server, which I wanted to quickly go over. We've sort of changed the ruling system here. It's now not 18 plus. You can be 13 plus, And as long as you abide by the terms of service, you can come on here, hit this little tick here, and this will bring you into our Discord server. The link is in the video description, and this will allow you to come in. You could be, as long as you're 13 plus and over, you can now join our server. You don't need to be 18 plus anymore. Uh, there will be some restrictions. Obviously, uh, the voice chat uh, will be only 18 plus. You will need to be 18 to go into voice chat. And there's some loads of channels we've added in here for you to mess around. We've got some PC support here. We've created loads of other rooms. We're also looking for moderators and we're also looking for people to be active on the server. If you need some PC advice or help or you need help building a PC, we've got a section in there for that as well. Just follow the rules and everything should be fine. So if you're 13 plus and you want to join the server, by all means do so. Uh, we have blocked all of the tenor gifts inside the server, so you can't post up any inappropriate gifts on here. Take a look at the announcements. Made some changes here, as you can see. We've removed all of the bans from people, and the reason for that is because we didn't know who was underage when we asked them to leave and they kept coming back, and we've ended up having to ban them. So all those bans have been reset. So you can come on and join the server if you wish. So the more active you are on the server, eventually you will be given a community uh, member role, which will then give you access to uh, the community member section where you'll be able to use the voice. And again, you will need to be 18 plus to enter that voice channel. It's just to keep you guys safe and us safe at the end of the day. So anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely rest of the weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.